Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm Velvet. Hey, what's up? I'm Diver Down. Diver Down, Chase. Got it. Yeah, that's me. Uh, so we're gonna get started with uh, week 21 of Recurring Void Effect. It's, it's been, been a 21 minute. 21 weeks. It's been a minute. Uh, first up, we got Shaolin Akatsuki versus Gunter Dreiger and Kidu. And then after that, we got Yuzaki Seth versus Saveus Nanase. I think that's Save Us. Save Us, Saveus, whatever. <laughs> It, it, that, that's that's how it be sometimes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, these these matchups are looking pretty nice. Always excited to see another uh, Ankudu player. Yeah, right. <laughs> I couldn't stand suffering that much in this game, but more props to them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tried playing Enkidu for a little while, and it, it wasn't fun. My Enkidu boils down to uh, 5 BBB, 5 CCC. I don't really play too much PS4 net play, but have you heard of any of these players? I don't play too much PS4 net play either, so this was my first time actually hearing of them. But this this is pretty good. Uh, this is a pretty good selection of characters, so I think it'll be pretty nice to watch. Mm. Oh, God, a Akatsuki color. Man, it's rare seeing a Akatsuki making someone else a dash block. <laughs> yeah, right? I like the, uh... I like that they're just kind of feeling each other out, trying to see how the other player is going to try to approach this. Mm -hmm. Wow, just <laughs> raw uppercut. Sometimes you just gotta whip it out. Nice whiff punish by Gunter. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these round starts. I'm mad they're working too. You can't, you, you can't even be be mad at <laughs> the wild round starts because they're. Oh man, he shielded that low high. That was a steamroll round by Gunter. Shaolin kind of only used the Koski's projectiles for that first round because he realized uh, the Koski's projectile is still bad. Right, yeah. I like how both players are playing this matchup, but I do really like uh, Gunter's, uh, Gunter's footsies 
just like is neutral in general. He, once he gets that knockdown, he goes in for some frame trap shenanigans, and so far it's working. Wait a minute. I just realized they're playing on shopping gallery. They're braver than I. Shaolin's really saving up for that B top two because he's only going for the A version. That was an excellent whip punish. He's been on point with his whiff punishes. I guess you kind of have to be if you're playing Anki Dude, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is. I tried to use the chain shift to get the whiff punish, but it just wasn't fast enough, I guess. I guess you stop blocking low just for a second. Yeah, I think uh, I think he got caught hitting buttons by the stomp, which kind of seems to be it. it kind of seems to be the vibe that that I'm getting from this set in general. Just like uh, Shaolin doesn't really get Enkidu frame traps, which like, it's Enkidu. A lot of character, a lot of people don't really play Enkidu, so you're not really going to know frame traps. Enkidu's um, biggest strength is no one really knows what he does except other Enkidu players. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I want to see him just play a little bit more defensively, maybe, uh, maybe be a little bit more calculated with where he hits buttons. That was an interesting choice to shoot the fireball and chain shift. Oh man, we got full screen zoning from Akatsuki. One thing I would like to see is Shaolin just to use Akatsuki's DP to remind Gunter that it does exist because he's just not respecting his wake up at all. Yeah, even if the DP doesn't end up working out, just do it just to prove to your opponent that you can do it and you will. He's probably saying it for the final round. Looking like a perfect. Whoa. A perfect with a red beat. <laughs> you feel like that sometimes. We take those. Alright, well that's 3-0 for Gunter. I I can tell that Shaolin is kind of waking up a little bit, but he needs to wake up a bit faster.
Hell, this might be the first time he's ever fought in Ankidu. Yeah, e even though Enkidu is not a very good character, it, if you never fought an Enkidu before, he can just kind of run a train on you by doing a bunch of, like, a bunch of fake stuff that you don't actually realize. Yeah, I don't think he realizes that the stomp isn't actually plus unless it's EX. Oh, the trade hits, but Ankidu's Havoc means that's actually his combo. Damn, that was a hell of a bad dash. That would have been tight if he got the combo. <laughs> I'll just do it again! I respect the life out of that. I was going to say you should have spent the meter, but you got the kill anyway, so it worked out. <gasps> Yo, okay. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you know what will work and not lost all your meter? A DP. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, see, I respect the attempt on waking <laughs> up with infinite worth. But, see, there are only a few characters that get the privilege of waking up with infinite worth and not dying for it, and Akatsuki's not one of them. Akatsuki's definitely not one of them. Oh, there it is! Didn't work out, but he did it. He did do it, and now Gunter's gonna be like, oh, damn, he got a DP, that's right. I mean, personally, if I saw my opponent wake up and it worth, I'm not pressing buttons on their wake up ever again. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Ooh, gets the counter hit. Come on, you had 200 meter, you could've did the combo. <laughs> What's the magic number? Like, 4,286 or something? Around there, yeah. It's the best combo in the game. Well, I can definitely see that Shaolin's kind of shaking off the rust, but... It's gonna be a reverse 5 0. That's gonna be. Hey, man. I always believe in Akatsuki players. They pull bullshit out their ass every game. Yeah, yeah, like, you're right. Like, wake up infinite worth. <laughs> oh, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I, for I forgot that it's uh, it's first and seven now. Yep. So he, he got a little bit. Man. I think this is the first time we've actually seen both players in the middle of the screen and they're in the corner now. <laughs> uh, Enkidu punched him in the face real good. Damn. Did he kick him? He did kick him, too. Cool. Nice backdash on the dive kick, but couldn't really punish it. But at least he knows that's an option now. I do like how Shaolin's like 
uh, what's the word? Conditioning him with A Totsu instead of B Totsu. So when he does let it rip, he's never ready. Yeah, yeah, just like there. <laughs> Alright, maybe two times in a row is a little ambitious, but. If you're playing Katsuki, sometimes you just gotta do it. There's that round start. I think that's the first time we've seen a round start like that that hasn't actually worked out, so good stuff to, uh... <laughs> oh, that's an overhead. You gotta learn that one. Alright, we pressing buttons. He's just doing a run up Eitatsu and I'm living for it. <laughs> I wonder why Gunter isn't blocking the third hit of Eitatsu. You know, part of me kind of thinks that maybe he's trying to get a little saucy, and he's trying to counter the last hit. I'm just gonna blame that play and call it a day. Yeah, that works too. But, damn, Gunter's up 5-0. But Shaolin is looking like he's learning how to fight this Akadu. Yeah, and once you learn that, it's... It's rough for Anki, dude. Yeah, you just bully him a little bit. Plus, you know, when you get grid broken, it's hard to do that. Just a little bit. Wow. I don't think either player is really focusing on grid management. They're just kind of going in. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta do that, but I don't know how much it's gonna work out. I didn't know Kasuki could backdash for that punch. Learn something new every day. Oh, catches him with the 3C. They keep trading counter hits, but the problem is that's what Ankudu wants because of Havoc. <laughs> See, it doesn't work when they block it, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of... I kind of want to say that maybe that was meant to just be EX Fireball, and he accidentally hit the wrong... <laughs> he accidentally did the wrong input and wrong button? Yeah! <laughs> I don't think that makes it better. I'm trying to be optimistic here, man. But Gunter's on game point. 
I want Shaolin to do that reverse 7 0. I believe. I think that if any character can do it, it's like five other characters and then a costume. <laughs> In that order? In that order, yes. Uh, he's not giving me a lot of hope right now. Oh wow. Nice conversion off that. What was that, JP? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty nice. We mashed two A. Shaolin's got one last chance. I believe. I believe in the boy or Katsuki. Oh, oh we, we take those. That Wait, no, come on. Fire. No, you were so close. That sucks. He hit him with the we live in a society and then he died. <laughs> Actually, society forbids this. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, good stuff to both of those both of those players. I definitely chalk it up to uh, just general to that. knowledge. Yeah, just like general knowledge. Uh, like I could tell that Shaolin didn't really know what was going on with the Anki matchup, and Gunter is just he took he took advantage of being able to bully Shaolin for that. Yeah, I don't think uh, Shaolin try to challenge Ankudu Stomp like once after blocking it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really blame him. It's a scary move when you don't know uh, like frame data or anything. Mm -hmm. But so, after a while, you just got, uh, got to kind of pick it up and be like, hey, maybe I can hit buttons after, after this. And then if he punishes me, then I know that I can't hit buttons there. If he doesn't punish me, then I'm probably good. Yeah. Alright. <coughs> oh, we have ads? Alright. Wait. Summer games. Is the second image the, like, lineup? Okay. Oh, I don't recognize that emblem. <laughs> Uh, August 24th at School Craft... Oh, tomorrow? Wow. Man. Tomorrow, at School Craft College, they have Summer Games 2 featuring... Eunice, Rise of Aether, Snatch, and I... Honestly, Project M, I think. Project... That's Project M? Okay. Cool. Yeah, and then after that, we got Neutral Ground, the monthly monthly series. 1 p.m. you got Blaze Blue, Cross Tag Battle, Soul Calibur. 2 p.m. you got Sam Show and Street Fighter. 3 p.m. you got Under Night, Mortal Kombat. And then at 5, you got Tekken 7 and Dragon Ball. Uh, so you can register on Smash GG forward slash Neutral Ground Monthly. Venues $10, tournament $10 per game. Looking pretty nice. I written, I like the uh, I like the graphic art that they got going on with this with this series. Oh, the neutral ground. Yeah, the neutral ground. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Take your vitamin. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be back.
<coughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm back. Okay, so we got save us not to say probably playing not to say and potentially. potentially we don't know yet and Ryuzaki playing Seth potentially yeah this yeah. is a pretty interesting matchup because not to say for the most part always wants to wants to be zoning until she gets that knockdown and she's got sword normals, but it's Seth, so it's a little bit easier than. Yeah. I don't know if Seth can get away with all his air back dashing nonsense against Nase, considering the angle like two on four goes at. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely needs to play a little bit differently than he does versus most other characters. But... Oh yeah, and there's a fireball she can just yeet up there. I'm trying to get the TRM by just dashing in his face. Really nice conversion off of that overhead. I really like that save us was just kind of sitting back and just like poking, trying to catch Ryuzaki hitting a button on defense to try to get out. Hmm. And now Seth be doing Seth things. Oh boy. Oh, you gotta. You weren't far enough from the orb. He goofed. But yeah, he got hit by the by the orb and almost died for it. That's yeah. that's pretty rough. Cause for some reason EX orb doesn't go away even if you hit stuff. It's a very well made move. Very it's, good mechanic. I don't question it at all. Oh wow. <laughs> Yo, that was kinda ridiculous. Really nice empty low, taking him into the corner and doing set things, getting that. I guess a nice unblockable setup. Oh my god, he just let her rip. Uh, fighting Seth, you gotta let it rip sometimes so they don't just <laughs> walk all over you. Yeah, Seth is definitely one of those characters where you need to make them realize that you have that DP and you'll use it because otherwise they can just do whatever. And it's really bad when Seth does whatever he wants. Oh yeah. The game gives him a lot of opportunities to do it too, but... <laughs> but he also has garbage health, which we are seeing right now. Yeah. Oh, he could've. Oh, well, he got the kill, so I'm gonna shut up. Yeah, th don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It was a calculator drop to send a message. That's all it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do like how both players on the first round were playing a lot more patiently, trying to see just exactly where their opponent was going to be at in terms of like play style. But after that, they just kind of <laughs> went in. Yeah, I mean they they gave it they gave him more than enough time to see if the other dude was gonna like crack and go in and do something. So they both went in and did something at the same time, and it's good. I like that. Went for the grabs because even if Seth protected, she was still dodge the orb shot. Yeah, that was really nice. Goes for the overhead again. <laughs> I respect. Uh, I respect that he hasn't blocked it once except for just then. So <laughs> why not? Keep 
Oh wow. Nice H DP does hit behind you, don't forget. And in front of her. Damn, he is being liberal with these DP. Oh, we got a sword card starter. that reset. He is just getting away with these 6-6 six, six Cs. Yeah, I kind of like how liberal he's being with like DPs, 6-6 six, six Cs, etc. Because even when they have been blocked, they haven't been punished all that hard, if at all. So mm -hmm. why not just keep... If it ain't broke. <laughs> oh man. Trying to set that fireball just kind of floating him back into Seth's range. Yeah, that was nice. And what was also nice was Ryuzaki being able to call out that he was going to do that wake up DP and being just out of range to get that pull. Oh, here it comes. You Did you block that? Because I didn't nope. block that. Nope. <laughs> Couldn't even see it because the orb was just at the perfect height. That's anime. Oh, this is dirty. I like that. I'm going to keep that in mind. I don't even play Seth, and I'm going to keep that in mind. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> you don't even play the character, and you're like, Damn, that was kind of hot. <laughs> what? Wow. Just... Yo, absolutely. That was, that was sick. Damn. Optimal. That was nice. Fighting Seth's a pain, but watching Seth? Yeah, mm. dude. Alright, well... <laughs> Ryuzaki putting himself on the board with that... Match, wow, that was really good. Yeah, that was extremely convincing, so I I really like that. When he woke up, he woke up. <laughs> that fireball set was... Yeah. Luckily, Seth didn't have Warp or else that would have been a lot of damage. Yeah. We can save us, not gonna save, bring it back. Oh my god. With, it, with the tiny... Oh my god! Yo... I gotta respect him mashing 2A on his opponent's chain shift. Yeah, that was... That was pretty nice, that was pretty nice. Oh, um, nice counter throw. He probably didn't notice that uh, Ryuzaki force function that orb and wasn't ready to block it. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that against that. Uh... Oh, 
his. I really like that Ryuzaki is throwing the orbs in such a way that it actually covers Seth, so it covers what he's actually going to do on, uh, oh. Yeah. I have noticed that every time Save Us has tried to put down, like, a fireball for Oki, Ryu yeah, Ryuzaki's pretty much been able to punish almost every time. But both players 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, 2-2. Two -two. You saw the respect at the start of this match, the double bat dash. Mm. Oh, he's getting he's Yo, just he bashing is, shield. Mm. That DP you barely eked out the Borple cycle, but that's good. He might not be able to do anything with it after all though. Yeah. Oh wow, that was a nice little <laughs> teleport shenanigans he pulled right there. Yeah, I really like how Ryuzaki is using uh is using Seth's air mobility, but like not really where you'd expect him to, because he knows that Nanase can just blow him up uh full screen for free. So he's yeah. doing it when he's closer. He knows that uh, if he tries to meet an Ase or air, most likely he's going to lose. And you see with this perfect that Ryuzaki... Man, after those first two games, I think Ryuzaki's woken up. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. But Nanase is very good at what she does. So we'll see what kind of adjustments they <laughs> Nase has stopped putting down so many fireballs after getting blown up like so much, but I say as he puts down two in a row. <laughs> I like that, just a run out the corner. <laughs> no one can catch Seth when he's running. Yeah man, he, he's Naruto running. You can't beat him when he runs out of the corner. I really like that two-way mash to blow up the teleport to Mm-hmm. Strange chain shift, but all right. Uh, that's not a low, so he probably was just caught mashing buttons right there. shifts so Seth can't just run up and continue his pressure. Yeah, I like the reversal chain shift just to attempt to blow up Seth for what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm.
Oh man. And once you star that sword card, his fate will seal. Yeah, that's always the worst feeling when you're like, oh hey, I finally stopped Seth from doing teleport garbage, and then you get hit by the fireball, and then he can do more teleport garbage. Well, Ryuzuki's now up. Oh, it's four wins. Wow, I completely blanked out the third one. <laughs> Seth just moved too fast. You, you didn't see the third man. It's strange because when fighting Seth, you have to respect the oars, but you also have to kind of not. Right, it's a yeah. Delicate that, that, that... balancing act. Yeah, that's part of why Seth is so good. He forces you to do multiple different things just to deal with one of his. Yeah. Oh, he gets that hit. Because, uh, Save Us has been trying to catch Seth with these sword cars, but he either is too far away or the orb intercepts him before he can get to Seth. Oh man, blows up the low shield. You hate to see that type of thing happen. Yo, yeah, with 66C, still the GOAT right now. Yeah, 66C is kind of doing doing some work, but then he got Yolt on his wake up. Just dashes out of Seth's teleport nonsense. Oh wow, that fireball caught him. Ooh. Oh wait. Oh. Oh, oh, kill him. Ooh. There you go. That was a nice conversion. Yeah, that Ooh. was pretty good. I didn't expect that fireball to hit. What the hell just happened? Uh, Seth thinks. <laughs> Smash out with 5A, who cares? Ah, oh, it's dirty. Yuzaki, I used that uh, EX orb placement to float higher than Nase Fireball could go. Yeah, that's some pretty wild matchup awareness. Uh... Alright, well, hey, 5 2 in favor of Yuzaki. This is. This is looking pretty good for the voice. It's not like a easy 5 2, because Nase has been taking rounds here and there. It's just never two in the same match. Yeah, it happens. It's, it's really hard to pin down a character like Seth, so. You you might you might win a round, you might get him down to really low health, but if you give him just that one little opening, he can just go a mile with it. Yeah. And Seth players tend to have like two different styles they switch between in a match. And that's is an orb out or it's an orb not out. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I almost forgot now. Say I did DP. Oh man, I almost forgot Seth had a DP. 
Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, it catches the back dash with B sword car. That's nice. Damn, you saw that confirmed. Savus was like, I knew you would dodge that move. <laughs> Oh, and strips the Vorpal. That was extremely terrifying. I think, you know, I said he went for a 3C and actually landed it. Rare footage of 3C actually tagging Seth in neutral. <laughs> Wake up CS to see if Seth is doing anything. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, he's got a full stick of butter. He could oh, definitely no. go. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. He got the two way mash. It worked out. Mind calculate. <laughs> Nice mash, buddy boy. Hey man, a win's a win. Yeah man, it's, it's your fault for getting hit by the mash. It ain't my fault for mashing. Oh man, that fake overhead into 2A mash. The classic. Oh, that's gonna be shit damage. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about these jumping past stuff to try and set a fireball things. But yeah, he's about to get it perfect, so maybe he knows something. Yeah, I mean, we're the ones not playing right now, so... <laughs> yeah, I guess he knows something we... I think actually getting that hit messed up whatever combo Yuzaki was going for. This 6-6-C knockdown into meaty 2-A Abare is kind of... It's doing some work, right? Oh, it's putting in work. Hell, it's clocking in overtime at this point. Oh, uh, max range Seth DP. Wow. That was spicy. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't drop that combo. Using C follow up on sword card to just. Mess with the orb tracking, I like that. Don't like getting hit by point blank orb. And you don't have to block it over it if you just bail off. Oh, I think, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, Ryuzaki on match point here. Oh, yeah.
Man, I was trying to think of a way to work in Save Us Nase, but I really don't feel like it. <laughs> Damn, both players just kind of standing there waiting for the first to move. Nanase needs to save us from uh, making this this stream. I did my best. Shield the jump in, mash in two A. Uh, messes up the needy IC five C. You know, I think Nasi's starting to see, like, the patterns Ryuzaki likes to do in his teleports. Yo, the max range confirm? That was pretty nice. Place the orb off screen. Check see if you have object permanents. Oh boy, set point here. Save us needs to needs to wake up to at least take this one minute. Nase needs to save us from this Seth nightmare. That one was pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, nice tech. Wait, did Seth just go through that fireball? I uh, think so. And then he got clocked in the ankle. Like, does the fireball stop having the hitbox at the top of the screen? What the hell is that? Alright, last chance here for save us. Sword card, get out of the corner. Uh, he sword card in. Wow. Yo, shout outs to Jinky Saragi. <sighs> wow. That was sick. That was good stuff. That was a prayer. <laughs> We're halfway there, boys. Save us still in this four to six. Rizaki's probably taking a man like, damn, I can't believe I didn't block that sword car. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Save us has a little bit more breathing room, but I don't think full screen sword card is gonna work out. <laughs> I believe though, I want to see some more units. Oh man, just a normals. All right, yeah. I think Ryuzaki's been traumatized by sword cards. So Want to block every single one from now? <laughs> I don't blame him. Ooh. Nice. Block the double overhead with the shield. Mess up the meaty so he just cs out of it. It's unblockable. 
Oh my god, if he takes this round, I swear to god. No! <laughs> no! Okay, he got it. But that was kind of terrifying. <laughs> Save us at full resources, so... Yeah, if he gets a clean hit, he can definitely make Seth. I was gonna say he was gonna win the next Warper cycle, but then Seth got hit. <laughs> There's the sword car. That was, uh, that was kinda OD. Yo, did he just end the box room for DP? <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? I don't know. Oh man, he was like, oh yeah, I do have a DP, let me just hit that real quick. Alright, set point again for Izaki, but it is looking kind of good for Sabo. Um, Save us needs to spin this meter somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. He done did it. He spent it for 1300 damage. Oh, there's an air to air with Anna the hell out of him. <laughs> oh, we mashed 2A on wake up. Let's go. Save us has to not block the single DO. <laughs> Oh, he dropped it. He gets one more chance. Oh my god. Using the knowledge of 2-6-C being projectile and bolt. Holy oh, shit. Oh, he did. He did. He's so smart. That was so sick. That was good stuff. Aw, damn. 5-6. Alright, boys. We're getting there. We're getting close to that time. He's trying to get there. He's trying to make it exciting. I believe. You gotta hit him with the stop sign. Stop Naruto running in my house. <laughs> Mom says it's my turn to wear the headband. <laughs> oh man. These sword cards and the block strings aren't working out anymore. Yeah, I feel like from now on, you probably should only do the sword car follow up if he's got resources to make it safe. Because Ryuzaki's just blocking the bomb. Ooh, catches a fireball set with DP in this. Oh, he dropped it, never mind. Yeah, to be honest, I thought he was going to be a little too high up for that DP to actually hit but it hit, and now he's dead, and now we're back to the set. Oh, back to set point. Man, Sabus is not respecting Izaki's wake up at all. I would have been too scared to match their Seth 100 meter and Borple. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to die tonight. Oh, this one. Oh, no, it didn't get the kill. We dropped a combo. Blocks it. Mashes 2A. Let's go. Okay, he's not going to die in this combo. Maybe like two more. Damn oh it. my god. I just wow. wanted to block a veil off. You gotta go another game so I can see you block it. Oh, you're not going another game. Oh, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's unfortunate. Hey, but good stuff though. 7 5 for Reeves Aki. Really? I thought it was out for a second. After, you know, he got those first two, I thought Ryuzaki had the complete download. Yeah, and then Sabos came in and he was like, no, stop it. Then you got a few. Then you got a few games. You know when you're playing a game and like your packets get dropped. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, you're right.
Oh. So, who do we have next on... Well, next week on Recurring Void of Vogue. Cards up. Mm -mm. Is that sodium chloride? God damn it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have... Oh my god. NACL playing Chaos versus... Hashtag I'm gay. <laughs> Mod. All right. These names are pretty good. And after that would be Nonachan, who plays Byakuya, and Chino Eltnum. <laughs> Wait. Chaos versus Gordo will actually get to hear cross thoughts naturally. <laughs> Yeah, dude. We we get to we get to see Gordo fight his heterosexual life. <laughs> With the name I'm gay, you know, heterosexual life partner. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah, those are some those are some pretty nice looking matchups. Mm-hmm. Well. I'm Velvet. <laughs> Jesus. I, I'm Diver Down. See you next week. Catch you guys later. <laughs>